Good morning, I'm Kathleen Jordan with Channel 8 WMTW. Welcome to the 2021 Main Heart Walk. I'm happy to be here with you to help you navigate this digital experience for the American Heart Association in Maine. We hope that you've enjoyed a week of wellness leading up to this day and enjoyed learning how to eat better, move more, and stress less thanks to our many local supporters. You'll hear from our sponsors and several of our community volunteers who made this experience possible in just a bit. As within an in-person heart walk, you'll be hearing from our chair, a local heart survivor, and others as we celebrate healthy living, including an announcement of this year's Lifestyle Change Award winner. And we want to hear from all of you. Please post your selfies and videos of your walk using the hashtag MEHeartWalk. We'll compile those into a recap video and share that with all of you later. But for now, I'd like to introduce to you Mike Simmons, our 2021 HeartWalk Chair and Chief Operating Officer at UNUM. Hello, I'm Mike Simons, Chief Operating Officer with UNUM and the 2021 Maine HeartWalk Chair. Thank you for being here today to walk or maybe run with me today. For me and all our employees at UNUM, the Heart Walk is a fun and meaningful way to celebrate survivors of heart disease and stroke, raise life-saving funds and encourage physical activity. And while we are all here to have fun today, we know it's in support of a serious issue. Heart disease and stroke are leading causes of death in Maine for women and men. In addition, cardiovascular diseases, which include heart disease and stroke, disproportionately affect people who do not have access to adequate health care, nutritious food, and safe places to be physically active. The life expectancy of two people living just a few miles apart can differ by 20 years. People should not be prevented from achieving their potential because of their social position or other socially defined circumstance. Healthy living is further challenged as people are becoming more sedentary and their mental health and well-being is challenged because of COVID-19. During the pandemic, more people have engaged, unfortunately, in unhealthy lifestyle behavior, such as eating poorly, drinking more alcohol, limiting physical activity, and that can contribute to heart disease as well. Now, more than ever, we're all looking for ways to connect with others, stay active and stay encouraged. Our goal is to raise awareness and educate others on how to live healthier lives and to better understand the symptoms of heart attack and stroke. Committing to small lifestyle changes is the first step towards achieving better health. By being here today, you're showing that commitment to yourself, your families and your community. So thank you for being here and being a part of this as we work to get healthier and to raise more than $450,000 to improve heart health in our community. The money we raise today will stay right here. The American Heart Association is the world's leading voluntary group focused on heart and brain health. Currently, the association funds over 1.1 million in cardiovascular research at Maine institutions. By supporting today's walk, you're also supporting uh, helping people get better care, helping them understand the impact of COVID-19 on the heart, and to honor the many survivors of heart disease and stroke we all know and love. Throughout today, look for updates on Facebook from our top teams and fundraisers as we celebrate your success. And please join me as I thank a few people who made today possible. First, thank you to our generous sponsors. You can see their names listed here. I'd also like to thank the HeartWalk's executive leadership team, a group of dedicated local community leaders who helped make this event a success. You'll be hearing from a few of them later today. This fantastic team of volunteers spent the past year getting us ready for today's successful HeartWalk. And finally, we are so fortunate to have incredible media sponsors, Channel 8, WMTW, and POR 101.9. Thanks to them for helping us get the word out about today's event. Please now listen to some important messages from local volunteers, including a heart disease survivor and our Lifestyle Change Award winner. Before we start walking, let's get motivated. Thank you. Hi, my name is Rodney Mondor, and I am a survivor of heart disease, which just in itself saying that is just still crazy for me. Um, I have always been an active person, hiking, did a marathon, um, really thought that I was fit, 
Um, and then about 2019, started having some weird sensations on my left side, uh, shortness of breath, some numbness. And in my mind, because I was so fit, I just took it as just out of shape and needed to get more fit. And so I kept working harder and doing more and doing obstacle courses and crazy things. And then in 2019, uh, with some continued or repeated feelings of numbness and out of breath um, and going to my dentist and having a high blood pressure reading, I decided to maybe listen to my body and check it out. Where I then went to the hospital and next thing I know, I'm being whisked into the ER, um, everything being taken off me and stuff being put on me and nitroglycerin under my tongue where I just completely freaked out and was like, what is happening to me? Um, and after about an hour of tests and poking and prodding, I discovered that I had a failed bicuspid aortic valve. And within the week, I was being scheduled for open heart surgery, which completely floored me. I could not believe this was happening. Um, sitting there alone on the bed, as the doctor's telling me this, I was just numb to all of this. Like, how could this be? I was so active and doing all these things and it was just out of shape. And the whole time I wasn't out of shape, my heart was stopping, was failing me. Um, and so went in for open heart surgery and had everything fixed and um, recovery went pretty well. And then I got to start cardiac rehab. And thank you to the nurses and the doctors and everyone who was, was there for me and um, started the cardiac rehab as the youngest member of the class. And really going through a lot of emotions of trying to understand what was happening to me. Um, and then I got to spend time on the treadmill and I got to pick up the pace. I got to pick up the pace. I got to pick up the pace to the point where I was at a full sprint and I was running and I didn't hurt and I didn't have numbness. I didn't have shortness of breath. I was running and I was crying. And then all of a sudden, I was stopping because the nurse hit the stop button and said, what are you doing? Take your time. <laughs> and that was an incredible day for me. Um, who knew that just being able to run on the treadmill would be such an emotional high. And all of this, all of this, I'm alive today because of all of the work done by the Heart Association, all of the donations that have gone into the Heart Association for the research so that the doctors and the nurses involved could fix what was broken, a broken heart, but I'm a better now for it. And two years out and I can run, I can hike and um, I can live. And I thank all of you for being part of the Heart Walk, for your support for the Heart Association um, and for the future that there will be more people like me who can get better. And if I learned anything is to listen to your heart, listen to your body and get yourself checked out because you're not out of shape. My heart was just out of whack and now I'm better for it. So thank you. Hi, I'm Steve Smith, president and CEO of L.L. Bean. L.L. Bean is proud to team up with the American Heart Association to honor a person who has made positive, healthy changes as a sponsor of this year's Lifestyle Change Award. I am so pleased to present this year's award to Stephen Woods. About a year and a half ago, Stephen decided to make some healthy changes, and he started by walking every day, and he continued to build on his pace and how far he walked. And you know, the American Heart Association recommends at least 150 minutes per week. Try to make that 30 minutes of exercise five days a week, moderate activity, things like walking for great heart health. Since he started, Stephen has lost an amazing 100 pounds. He cites living in one of the most beautiful places in the world here in Maine, and I couldn't agree more. And as part of his inspiration, along with being motivated to take control of his health again. By using his Apple Watch, he tracked his data, like his resting heart rate, his sleep, uh, and what he ate. And that technology motivated him to keep going to see his numbers continue to improve. 
We want you to inspire to create lasting change in your health and your life, one small step at a time. We hope that Stephen's story inspires you. Please join me as I congratulate Stephen Woods on his positive lifestyle changes. Congratulations. From all of us at Channel 8 WMTW, thank you for walking with us today and for supporting the American Heart Association in Maine. Don't forget to tune in on the 8th of every month and on WMTW.com for our monthly Heart Health 8 series. Enjoy your walk and remember to post your videos and selfies using the hashtag MEHeartWalk. Thank you again.